Sean from Hungerford in Berkshire, part owner of uh, Gould Racing, Gould Engineering, mm. Gould Composites, etc., as we've detailed in Newbury. Mm. Do work on Formula One cars as well as build hill climb cars. And he's got the green light. Four litre Judd being brought up to revs and away. Eases out very calmly. 2.32 seconds off the line for Sean Gould. Yeah. Stays clear of the bank, safe and mid course through the gate into hey, the SUV. Yeah. 16 points. Oh, he's two. coming in quick. Turn it in. Power down, snaking a little bit as he went away from us, but getting that power down up through Castle Strait into Martini Corner. So he's breaking from the fastest part of the course through the hairpin in 34.30, 34.30. William Luffridge is the next man to run, qualified on 35.58. Looking back one of the tyre covers to the support crew of William as he's on the line with the green light and off in 2.2 so that's our fastest launch so far faster than Sean Gould with the 4 litre Judd power and sparking from the under tray as he approaches Bunny's leap on the brakes on the brakes as fleetingly as possible at the gate 19.53 yes with me now just keeping it up the middle of the track not going to the edges too hard Power down, very fast gear changes. Oh, wonderful amounts of sparks coming off the under trail. That hopefully somebody's got pictures of that. That was fantastic to watch. And into Martini. 13, sorry, 38.03, 38.03. 38 so Sean Gould leading the way on 34.30. As Andy Greenan comes down to the line, having a uh, First of all, the first challenge, of course, is to qualify. Mm. Uh, he's ticked that box. And now let's see if he can uh, take a nice haul of points away with him. On his way back to Great Bedouin with this Empire Evo 3. Of course, the, the Empire has been a West Country car, isn't it? Oh, indeed. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I think we might have just stalled it on the way oh, to dear. the start line. Oh, no, we've got a red flag. Oh. Oh, perhaps there's... Anything uh, happening in your... No, nothing no? happening up here. We have no red flags. It could well be that they're sweeping or something. Or... See the Just gate. some no, some stones on the, the track, gate. perhaps that the marshals are moving. Indeed, indeed. But no, nothing up here with us. Can't see the approach to the gate at the moment. So no, nobody in the S's, nobody at Martini. Well, if there was, you should see a red flag, anyway. Isn't it? So yeah, some cleaning up on the first corner. Yeah, so apparently told. some debris so, on Wiz. Yeah. Um, Darren the marshal up here just told me because he's. Uh, yep. Got to just just put up uh, the can comment hear. on the live stream because <laughs> uh, their cameras can uh, see the start mm. or see the bend. Uh, so that's the good. We know what's happening there. So, so yesterday so they had seven hour, seven hundred hours of watching on the live stream. Did they? Yeah. Well, I mean. um, at one point there was three hundred and fifty people logged on all at the same time, and the actual hits on the. The website was 2,500 yesterday for the live stream. Around the world. Around and the world. Andy Green and away in 2.13. So that's our best launch so far in this top 12 runoff for the British Hill Climb Championship. Presented by Novo, Nova Tyres. Mm. Let's see where we're going in the S's. 16.89. Oh, second fastest. Yes, he's using all the road. Sparks coming off the front where he came back down off the, uh, the ridge on the edge. Getting that power down, loads of sparks coming off the under tray, going up Castle Strait there. In the shade along Castle Strait, then he mm. comes out into the sun at Martini and over the line in 36.06. Number 94, that's the GWR Predator, of course. Jonathan this is from Telford. V8, isn't it? It's, it's, uh, um, 
It's a combination, I think we've got, yeah, it's two Yamaha R1 engines indeed. on a common crankshaft. It is, yes, it's two motorcycle uh, upper parts of the engine on a common crankshaft and crankcase. So 94, Jonathan Varley on the start line, ready to go. He set a time of 35.20 in yesterday's runoff. He was the second so as qualifier. He's away off the line in 2.18 seconds. So he's 500th down on Greenan. Let's see, uh, how did he qualify? Varley qualified on 36.13 yesterday. Today it was a 35.10. Yeah, he's already faster than yesterday, isn't he? 17.02. Very neat, very tidy. At the S. Round daylight under front wheels. Bit of oversteer as he left the corner here. And he must be, he's almost at, you know, on the brakes and turning in. A bit off the pace of his competitors at the S's, but a 35 at the top. 35.49. 35.49 for Jonathan Varley. Uh, so that's uh, almost three tenths slower than he was yesterday afternoon. As we look to Alex Coles now, the man from Plymouth with this Force TA. He shares with Kelvin Broad. 1300 supercharged Hayabusa power plant launched in 2.12 seconds. So that's one hundredth of a second faster than Andy Grennan. That's our best launch. 16.33 at the S's. Yeah, that's he's our, trying. That's our fastest midpoint turn. Right. Definitely trying. Brings it round Saw Bench. The back end steps out a little bit. He gets it under control and straight up Castle Straight. So Alex on the brakes through Martini and he clocks at 34.50. Now it's number nine, Paul Hames. 1300 Hayabusa twin turbos here so that's an interesting approach to the power theme and he's off the line in 2.23 so he's dropped a tenth on the fastest launch times through the gate and the S is it's a 16.29 yes I got him now he's kept it over oh he's locked it up a little bit under on the way in a little bit of oversteer on and the uh, uh, car sneaking away from us as it starts his way up past the straight. That's our fastest time in the S's so far for Hames and the finish is also our fastest time as we break into the 33's. What a 33.98, 33.98 for Paul Hames from Farnham in Surrey. And now to the line, number six, Trevor Willis with the OMS. Trevor from Redditch, sorry, ring, wrong person, from Meneth Wood near Chelsea Walsh. Mm. And this OMS is another V8 utilizing two Suzuki Hayabusa's, the RPE engine, giving some power somewhere in the region of 500 brake horsepower. So it's not one of the ultimate most powerful machines, but can that power be delivered? And Trevor Willis has proved he can do that. And he does with a start of 2.16. So he's dropped, what, four hundredths of a second to Coles and three hundredths of a second to Grennan. But I think you might be able to make uh, that up. I the S is it yeah. 16.23. That's yeah. our fastest. Hard on the brakes. Getting the power down. Lots of backfiring as he leaves us here. Sparks coming from the under tray as well. He's on the brakes into Martini and over the line any second now. 34.92. So lost some time on the upper reaches of the hill. Means business, I think. Mm. Yes. Lines up basically and in the middle or the center of the track. No uh, doubt new sticks at this point. Or fresh sticks. sticks. Watch the start light green and it the cosy rumbles away 2.04 our best launch that might indicate that it's got new tires on mm. that was effective as he goes up to the gate carrying good speed through there and the s is in 16.36 not yeah. the fastest 
No, but very tidy, very, very tidy. Right, turn it in, just edges the curb as he leaves us here at the saw bench. Straight as a die up to Martini on the brakes of Ray Martini. Let's listen for him accelerating over the line. And that's it, he's there. 33.65, 33.65, that's our fastest time. Dave Uren comes to the line. Another Gould man, this is a slightly older model, the GR55, but uh, this particular car has been hugely successful across the years with uh, Martin Groves, four-time championship winning car, and Dave's got it off the line in 2.18 seconds, matching Jonathan Varley's time, but what, 14 hundredths down on Wallace Mingis. Through the S's in 16.2, so he's 16 hundredths up yeah. on Mingis. Very tidy. Just a little bit of oversteer, getting the power down, really going, sounding beautiful as he leaves us. On the brakes for Martini. Three and a half litre V8 pounding away and it delivers a new fastest time, 33.61. Will Hall next to run. Set up slightly to the left. Waits for the green light. He's got it. Brings the revs up. Dumps the clutch. 2.05. So the best. No, no. Just one hundredth shy of Menzies. So second fastest launch with this uh, mighty machine powers it through the S's in 15.47 ladies Fantastic. and gentlemen the fastest uh, of the S's vice up very very tidy around saw bench gets the power down really going for it I think Will is looking to the top in a very good time got the braking done and by He's oh boy 32.97 for a sub 43 32.97 from Will Hall as the championship leader Alex Summers comes to the line with the 2.65 litre Cosworth powered DJ Firestorm. Summers on a roll at the moment, clocked 32.94 in the runoffs yesterday afternoon. How is he going to perform today? The launch is terrific, 1.99. <laughs> wow that is quick <laughs> is this going to be a run can he maintain that all the way up he's up into the S's in 15.39 oh, yeah. yes he's really going sounding beautiful really controlled very fast very smooth no sideways to it at all really neat and tidy let's see what he does Summers is focused down through the gears round Martini over the line 32.48 so he goes fastest, just shaving about four tenths of a second off of Will Hall. Summers is our fastest man to date. If this was yesterday at this point, he just set a new hill record with that. Yep. So Matthew Ryder, who did in fact set a new record yesterday afternoon, just to remind you, 32.16. And our fastest time so far, that from the last runner, Alex Summers, in 32 point four eight will hall away uh, sorry matthew Ryder off the line just a bit slower than summers 2.05 same as will hall in fact another judd v8 user so uh, hall was 15.47 at the s's summers 15.39 this is 15.10 he's used the curve a little bit a little bit just almost touching the back end against the bank. A very, very quick looking exit from Selbank. Thunders up Castle and he's over the line and it's a 31.77. The boy's on fire. Isn't he? Another new record here at Wiscombe Park for that man, Matthew Ryder. He's really been on it this weekend. Fantastic. 31.77. I wonder if they bought an extra bottle of champagne. Uh, I need a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Thank thankfully, it's there ready and waiting for him. There's a tra tradition here at Gun that if anybody hill record, they do get given a bottle of champagne. Nice. Was it quick? Well done. Thank you very much. Might never get my breath back, but... <laughs>